I'm a traveling man, made a lot of stops all over the world. Oh, I'm a traveling man. Yes, I'm a traveling man. Oh, I'm a traveling man. And then you're mailing it in and doing bad customer service. Don't you start to have just that personal pride, start to see the difference? Harvard case study is a book called Service Profit Chain, written by a guy named Heskett, a professor. Phenomenal. But it talks about how every person who's happy tends to only tell one person, right? And if they're super happy, they tell like three or four. Super happy. But people that are mad, that we talked about in the last, tend to complain. They tell up to ten people. You know the old Nintendo? When the games didn't work, what did we do? Why? I mean, it was like... It, it was like a, it was like they sent out a national recall to every one in the world and said, if this game does not blow, the premier scientists in the world who've invented this gaming technology, the elite minds want you to blow in the game. That's the best we have. Right? You're doing duck hunt and all of a sudden it's like, what? Back on. What I'm going to teach you is some moves today that are the equivalent of blowing on the game. Okay? So when you're in the office and you have somebody who walks in, okay, someone walks in and they're negative, a student's upset, someone's, something's not going right, there's some bad thing happening, the computer's not working, I'm teaching you just to, this, this move, you just blow on the game and it works. Now, some people are like, I don't know why it works, I don't feel ethical about doing it until I know why it works. I wasn't that kid, I just blew on the game and started playing it. But I want to encourage you guys, this is just that version. Some of it's not that deep, some of it is kind of deep. So we're going to get into it here. Um, so, two claims I made. One, I want to teach you guys at least one skill that pays the bills. And the second is I want to teach everybody at least one courtesy dance move. Because I feel like some of you guys go to weddings and you're like, uh-oh, uh-oh. So I want to make sure it has at least one move. So as long as the song's in eight counts, then we're all right. If you're going to a waltz, we're kind of screwed. But if it's in eight counts, we're okay. So everybody can kind of stand up real quick. Everybody stand up real quick. All right. Oh, don't give me that look. Like, oh, I'm too good for wedding. I know you go to weddings. Come on. Now, we're going to the Cupid Shuffle. Okay, we're going to the Cupid Shuffle. Are there any Cupid Shuffle experts in the house? No? Okay. Cupid Shuffle. We do everything four times, okay? Four times. So you're going to start off going to the right and just work with me, okay? Here we go. And five, six, seven, eight. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. There we go. To the left, left, left. Left, here we go now. Kick with the right foot, kick with the left foot, kick with the right foot, kick with the left foot. Now walk it out. Now we're going this way, we're facing this way. One more time. Here we go, here we go. And right, and right, and right, and right. Here we go. And left, and left, and left, and left. Here we go. Kick with the right foot, kick with the left foot, kick with the right foot, kick with the left foot. Now walk it out. Nice, that's incredible. Give yourselves a round of applause right there. Awesome. Okay. Commitment number one has been made. Okay, awesome. Moving on here. Three commitments, though, that I need you guys to make. One, I need you guys to take some notes. Second thing is I want you to look for six actions that you can start, like six ways you can start changing the way you think. And the final thing is uh, uh, I, I need, if anybody here has any Michael Bolton information you want to share with me, I want you to go ahead and share that with me as we go through this because the one commitment we make to all of our customers at DJ Connections, we get any song you want, but we do not play Michael Bolton for your safety, you know? And so I've been on kind of a quest to outlaw him and his music for a long time. He sold over 60 million albums. How's that possible? He doesn't really write his own music either. It's funny, dude. He's like he's straining like he's a WCW wrestler while he's singing. Look at that hair. Look at that guy. That's how he became famous. I just want to take a moment to look at his beauty. <laughs> I just, just reach up there and just touch the head of Michael Bolton. Okay, moving on. Okay, deep thoughts to ponder. Customer service. What is customer service? At its core, what is customer service? Excuse me, so what kind of things make you guys upset when you deal with customer service? Because you guys, although you work in customer service, are you not customers of somebody? So let's go ahead and... Give me an example of like where you had customer service and you're about ready to scream. You're talking to somebody from India. I'm going to go here. I'm gonna, we're going to go around the room. This is a therapy session, okay? And this is not just mindlessly complaining. This is going to help us, okay? So let's go to you, man. I said when you're talking to someone from India. 
from India. So, and, he, and, he, and he promised you his name is like Tom or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, oh, I don't think my name is Tom. <laughs> sure it is. No, Tom Smith? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Okay. So the, the, guy, the, the whole language barrier frustrates you? Absolutely. Somebody else? Somebody else want to volunteer? What's yes, sir. Apathy. So apathy, empathy means that we are to get in the person's shoes with them, right? I mean, kind of, if a friend has a funeral to go to, instead of saying, I feel bad for you, it's like, I will go with you. It's the difference between, oh, it's sorry that's happening to you, and then getting out of your car and helping somebody with a flat tire. Instead of saying, I'm sorry you have a flat tire, it's helping them with the flat tire. So the apathy is that, you know, I have a, a feeling of general, like, I would like to help you, but it's just the system that can help you, you know? When you have to jump through a bunch of hoops before you can actually talk to someone. Jump through a bunch of hoops just to talk. Press 7 to hit 4. Press 3 to hit 2. Hit 0. Well, this is just Dan. I'm going to read this to you because I know this isn't ever said about you guys. But according to the Apple book, uh, the Apple experience, he did a quick research, the author, on Sears. And here is what people on Twitter were saying about Sears during that window of time. And I've since done my own search. And it is amazing. It says one here. Sears is the worst. There's a dozen customer service counters and not one person with a brain at them. <laughs> I haven't bought from Sears in 30 years. Their service always sucks. Sears, home service and customer solutions should be shamed and shut down. Fire them all. Sears, customer service is rude and has no solutions. I hate Sears. Parents, about to lose it and I'm counting down. One, two, three. Uh, Sears, I'm done with you. Your customer service is deplorable and I will never ever buy your product again. Hope you read this. This is off their Facebook page. People are posting this on their company page. They say, like us. Oh, we'll like you. Then we'll write some stuff about you too. Now, Apple, same time frame. This guy, Carmine, who wrote about, who wrote about Apple, he writes about companies. He doesn't work for Apple. He just writes about companies as a reporter. This is what they said on the, the Apple. They're the same window on their Facebook and on their Twitter feeds. It says, I must say, Apple Store has supreme customer service. Apple has just made me the happiest person in the world. Great customer service. Now I know how my computer works. Apple has always amazed me with their awesome customer service. Love the Genius Bar. Though I'm generally a skeptical customer, I'm truly that couldn't be more pleased with the service I've received at our local mall's Apple Store. Happy. I mean, you know what I mean? It just goes on. Same interactions, but Apple is wowing people. Now, in terms of profits, have you guys noticed the news? What's going on with Apple right now? And is there not a big difference between quick trip gas stations and a local gas station on Mogi? Come on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the third world country bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is that customer service is, is a huge difference. It's, it's a difference between awesome quality, bad quality. Step number one, start asking the tough questions. Straight up, do you, not does OSU and Mogi, but do you personally deliver customer service like the DMV or Apple. The DMV, we do take credit cards, but it's an extra 4% because I wrote it on that little piece of crappy card with a, with, a, with a marker. That's where I wrote it. I'm on break. I wrote it with a marker. You ever been to the DMV and seen them do that? This is, this is my, this is my, this is like, let me find a page here that I can use an example. I go to the DMV the other day, and what they do is they got a little sign like this, and it says, you know, we're on break. And it's like ripped out. <laughs> you know, on break till like noon. And I can see them in there. So they're like this. <laughs> How many of you seen this? 